How can Christians be cursed? How can we be cursed when God has blessed us? Witchcraft curses are real. Let's break some now. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, I want to welcome you back to my show. How can a Christian be cursed? In the Bible it says a curse without cause cannot stand. But we know that we live in a world of good and evil. And the fact is wizards, warlocks, witches, Satanists, they're releasing their curses on Christians. I even have felt sometimes that they can pray and release their curses better than we pray. You know, they'll be in there around Halloween praying 6, 9, 12, 24 hours just to curse Christians. I was a victim about a year and a half ago of a witchcraft curse when all of a sudden an illness tried to inflict my body. I had to go through tests and biopsies and ultrasounds and scans And the day that I got a creative miracle in my body, that same day I was preaching and I was casting witchcraft off of other people. When I felt the same manifestation is when I was physically healed from that affliction. And a team of intercessors, the Holy Spirit, I knew that a witchcraft curse had had gotten through and attacked me, but it did not prosper. And I want to pray some of those same prayers that I prayed to break that witchcraft curse in my body and to manifest my healing. Now, I want to tell you, this all went over 10 days and in a period of three days from one uh, ultrasound and I forgot whatever procedure I had to a biopsy in three days, I manifested a medically verified miracle in my body. And I anointed myself with oil about 10 times a day while I was praying these. And so if you got your anointing oil, I want you to get it out right now. And I want you to anoint yourself. I just say, I anoint myself in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you don't have oil, guys, you can go to your cupboard, get some olive oil, pray over it real quick, ask the Lord to bless it. And But if you want to get some oil and help support our ministry, we do sell that at kathydegrawministries.org. We'll put the links in the notes. And I encourage you to anoint yourself daily because the witches, the Satanists, the warlocks, the wizards, they're constantly putting their curses forth. And we need to be pleading the blood of Jesus, anointing ourselves with oil and praying that hedge of protection over us. But right now, I just want you to make sure that you have no unforgiveness in your heart so that you can receive this witchcraft releasing, delivering prayer. And if you do have some unforgiveness, just say right now, Jesus, I choose to forgive them. I choose to forgive them. I choose to forgive them, okay? Just choose. Now, get out your oil. Anoint yourself. I anoint myself in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that this oil is a representation of what Jesus accomplished at the cross, your power and your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit of witchcraft that's coming against you to leave. I command all witchcraft to loose you and let you go. I speak and decree that every demonic assignment that has been put against your life for sickness, disease, poverty, financial lack, dissension, divorce, to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic altar that has your name on it, I rescind that demonic assignment right now in the name of Jesus. And I lay the blood of Jesus and the fire of God on that demonic altar to erase your name, to cover your name in the blood and to burn your name up from every curse. I dispatch angels on assignment around you right now, healing angels, ministering angels, warring angels to come forth to you right now. Every place that that witchcraft has attacked your voice, I'm seeing someone like with a lump in their throat. Uh, maybe not a physical lump, but you feel like they're lump. You've felt this or a band. There's like a one inch band around your mind, a pressure. I command that witchcraft assignment to go in the name of Jesus. Get out. I rescind you. I annihilate you. I say you have no power over us in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the angels of heaven to come forth right now. I release healing in your body. I call forth deliverance. I take authority over every devil, every 
wizard, every warlock that's put something on you. And I say, you have no legal right. Your power is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak and decree divine health and healing. I command that witchcraft spirit to get out in the name of Jesus. Spirits of incantation, voodoo, get out in the name of Jesus. Vows, oaths, dedications, promises over your life. I cut those cords in the name of Jesus and any demonic entity that has been assigned because of that, I command it to go in Jesus Christ's name. I command all witchcraft to leave you. I'm hearing that someone's neighbor has put witchcraft on them. And so anyone that has cursed you with words, I'm seeing something in someone's spine right now. I command that witchcraft curse to go right now, that demonic entity in your spine to leave in Jesus Christ's name. I command all word curses to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all masonry ties to be cut and rescinded of their assignment right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft, get out of my friends. Get out, get out. Come on, guys. Pray with me. Pray with me. Say witchcraft, get out out of me in Jesus name. Witchcraft get out of me in Jesus name. I just pour the blood of Jesus all over that witchcraft assignment right now. The blood of Jesus on your doorposts, the blood of Jesus on your bodies, the blood of Jesus on your throats, the blood of Jesus on on your beds. I hear in the spiritual realm someone just screaming right now manifesting demons. I command that witchcraft demon to go. In the name of Jesus, the Python spirit, the Leviathan spirit, the Jezebel spirit, it has been assigned with it. The sentinel spirit, I command it to go get out in Jesus name, loose them and let them go. I command all witchcraft to loose you and let you go in Jesus' name. I command those demonic assignments, all curses to go. I break, I cut those curses in Jesus Christ's name. I speak and decree that you have a sound self-discipline mind. I command all paranoia to go in the name of Jesus Christ. All vain imaginations, release them. Demonic dreams, go. Spirit spouses, get out. We break agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak and decree for any possession of ours that has been cursed. We command those to be run through the fire of God. Fire of God, apprehend our enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Now just pray and whatever you know, whatever you have felt like is attacking you, speak it out right now. I want to stand in agreement with you. So just start speaking it. Father God, I stand in agreement with them right now. I stand in agreement in the name of Jesus. I command those witchcraft spirits to go, to get out, to loose their hold, to let them go in the name of Jesus. Whatever they're praying for right now, Father God, I touch and agree with them in the the name of Jesus Christ, that no weapon formed against them will prosper for their divine deliverance. Guys, even get your oil, anoint yourself again, wherever you're feeling it. If you're feeling like that witchcraft assignments in your hand, your head, just lay your hand on it and just say, get out in the name of Jesus. Demons hate anointing oil. And that's why I love anointing oil so much. I can't tell you the number of times I just put this on my hands. I go near a demon and it leaves before I even speak. Speak. So I just pray that right now, that release, supernatural deliverance, divine deliverance for you right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Whew, I feel a release. I feel a release. Somebody needs to know, um, you know, when, when you guys get your oil through us, we also uh, pray over a prayer cloth for you. And that prayer cloth is something where we're touching and agreeing with you. You can carry it in your pocket. You can put it in your pillowcase. You can, you know, put it on your lap during your prayer time. It's where we're touching and agreeing with you. And that's what we want to do. We want you delivered from witchcraft. So friends, share this with a friend. If you need some anointing oil, you can get that at kathydegrawministries.org. My book, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, talks more about witchcraft and helps you to get complete deliverance from witchcraft curses. I love you guys. And remember, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. 
Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.